Grupa Azoty. Trzy rundy, pięć minut każda, stawką tymczasowe, pas, wagi lekkiej. Touching gloves and we are off. There's five rounds if we need them. Interim championship on the line here in the lightweight division was supposed to be for the full championship. You'll hear me, Cadena Martins of Brazil against this man. We'll have to settle for the interim championship here. And the winner will face the Brazilian for the full title. Well, down he goes, and in rushes Maciejowski. Trying to take the back of Shimaida. Shimaida, though, just powering him up against the cage here, trying to sweep out the legs. Shimaida working hard now. In goes the knee. Drops his level again. He's got the right leg up in the air. Eating some elbows and he gets him down. Maida now. On the side. Got his right leg over there. Oh, got a short little back elbow there from Maciejowski. Maciejowski turning himself. And successfully does. Another left elbow. Shimaida's really eating some shots there. Lands a short little uppercut. You can see some markings on the face of Shimaida. And you can see the back all scratched up of Maciejowski as he was up against the fence with tremendous pressure from Shimaida. Ooh, left hand. Connected there, perhaps, on the butt of the chin. Oh, wow! Look at that, but Shimaida ate the kick, but ends up on top. So Maciejowski may have won the battle, but he hasn't won the war, and things just went from bad to worse now. Shimaida, who's very, very skilled from this position, dropping some bombs in, or looking to, the crowd letting their support be known. It looks like he's working on a top wrist lock. Americana here looking to twist that arm off. No, he rolls through now, and now it's Maciejowski on top. Short little left hands going in. More of them. Forearms, hammer fist going in now. Maciejowski getting his licks in. Shimaida has neutralized the striking now for the time being of Maciejowski. Maciejowski may have got away with a headbutt there. Referee warning him about that. I don't think it was intentional, but it certainly was nonetheless. Looking for an arm bar here. Shimaida trying to stretch out that arm. Oh, he freed himself and slipped in a couple of left hands. Shamida now moves in the, the full mount. This is where he was before. Let's see if he can pick up where he left off. Right up against the, this area of the cage. Looking for a submission attempt. If he can't get that, he'll settle for right hands. Riding a little bit high now as Maciejowski tries to buck himself off using the cage. Shamida. Smothering him now like a wet blanket. Lefts and rights going in here. Boy, from where I'm positioned right now, I can see some heavy, heavy marking on the inside of the right thigh of Maciejowski. He's got that head and arm choke in now. He just got to move over a little bit more. Oh, boy, does he got that thing in tight. My Lord. 
trying to get into position here, but Maciejowski trying to ride out the storm. Tried to, oh, a nice move there as he was able to get out of it, but the nose has been busted of Shimaida. End of the round. Holy smoke. Sheer brutality inside the TFL cage here in our first of five rounds. What do you think, folks? Does this thing have any chance at this point, given what we've seen so far of going the full five rounds? We shall see. Neither man coming out unscathed in that round. Both had a chance of finishing it at different points. And we are ready for round two. And here we go. TFL Interim Lightweight Championship on the line in this one. Left hand connects from Maciejowski. You can see the nose of Shimaida already bleeding profusely once again here as short little shots from underneath. Nonetheless, Hubert Shimaida persistent on his takedown. Robert Maciejowski right there in his corner. Got his coaches right in his ear. It's a helpful position to be in, but got to remember that the opponent can hear the instructions as they both speak the same language. So he can make adjustments too as he's hearing the suggestions. Nice trip there by Shimaida. Right hands now going in from the monkey. Really asserting himself here as Maciejowski and feels the cage on his back. Schmeida trying to get that left leg over into full mount. But you can see that Maciejowski has it all wrapped up there. Nonetheless, he can still do some serious damage with the right hand if he can free it. Schmeida looking for submissions when he's on top. Oh, there he goes, right in the full mount now, almost. He's, he doesn't quite have it, and look at that. Maciejowski snuck out the back door using the cage and reverses the position. Left forearm and elbow there, just rubbing it across the face. A punishing maneuver there from Robert Maciejowski. Again, just rubbing that forearm back and forth across his face like he's trying to start a fire in the woods. Keep in mind that the nose is busted of Shimaida, so that's no fun. Shimaida. Lading down some serious leather here. Some of those shots bouncing off the forearms. This crowd doesn't care though. They just want to see him punch Maciejowski in the head. Maciejowski likes to be in this particular position. You see, can see he feels very comfortable here. And he, we've seen before the kind of damage he can do. Trying to pin his skull to the canvas with his left forearm and elbow. He'll take the Americana if it's there. If not, he'll be content just to hit him in the cranium. Jemida controlling the action. Look at the way he's just sticking his skull in his face, trying to control the action there. You have another man rubbing their forehead, 
right in your eye, in your nose. Oh my, look at those punishing right forearms now. Shemaida, well he lost them there for a minute. Look at that. Almost ended up in a triangle though. Maciejowski still pressing forward. Well, he's got Shimaida up against the cage here in a very uncomfortable position. He's got his neck bent at an angle and he's eating shots now is Shimaida. Ooh, he hit the ground, hit the canvas hard that time with his hand as the left arm now draped behind the neck now readjusts. Boy, this has been a very back and forth round here between these two. I don't know who's going to lose their voice first, me or some of the people in the crowd here. They have been going berserk the whole night. Here we are in the main event with little elbows going in from Maciejowski. There they go again. Short left hammer fist. Round two coming to an end here. And that'll do it. Well, both guys will have a minute and they'll need it to try to pull themselves together here. Neither man pacing themselves. You wouldn't have a chance to do so with your opponent putting on so much pressure. Both guys look to be in tremendous physical condition for this matchup. And they're gonna be testing each other's limits for sure as we move into round number three. Round three action, and right off the bell, we pick up right where we left off. These two came in here ready for war, and that is exactly what they are getting. Shimaida eating some shots now, shoots in, grabs the right leg. Maciejowski relentless trying to get this takedown here. Or excuse me, Schmeida, and he does get it. Schmeida trying to sneak over, passes into side control now. And Maciejowski eating some shots here. Right hands going in. And he does the same exact thing. Nice move there from Maciejowski going to the well once again and successful. See what he can do from this position. Right hands going in is Schmeida. Still active on the ground. Keeping things very close here. He wants to avoid any kind of punishment coming in from Maciejowski. At this point though, seems like it may be impossible. Looking for the arm here. Can't get it. Maciejowski still on top. Pressing forward. Both guys have got to be exhausted by now. My God, the kind of pace that they've set for themselves. Somebody's going to crack sooner or later. Somebody's going to leave themselves vulnerable 
sooner or later. Somebody's going to tire out first. And that is when things are really going to get interesting, folks. The human body is only capable of taking so much punishment. A fighter only has so much stamina. You can only go at this kind of feverish pace for so long before you finally find a chink in the armor. Look at this now. Shimaida trying to set him up. He's got that left leg over the shoulder here. Hard to tell what's going on on the right side. No, he has second thoughts now. Anything is possible at this point in the fight, folks. Left hand goes in there, a little quick one. Follows it up with a right, back and forth now, alternating between lefts and rights. Maciejowski. Well, he's giving a Shamida a taste of his own medicine there as he's rubbing his forearm and his head there as they battle for control with the arms. Shemaida now, still working for that right arm, it looks like. Oh, wow, punishing elbow goes in there from Robert Maciejowski. And another short little elbow. Those are just as vicious as the ones he winds up with. Shemaida working to get up. And he gets muscled right back down to the canvas. May have gotten away with a short headbutt there on the inside. Left hand's going in now. Forearms and hammer fists. Shemaida still struggling to get to his feet. Every time he looks like he's got a hip or a little bit of space to work with, Maciejowski just powers him right back down to the canvas. Just cracked his head into the cage too. Shemaida still trying to get up here. Maciejowski right back down. Oh my! Left hands just opened up the nose again. Right here in front of our broadcast position. Referee calling for action here. Time slipping away here in round number three. Still two rounds left to go after this. Both guys really exerting a lot of energy here in this third round on the floor. Oh my, those left hands just cringeworthy. Just hear the flesh on bone contact here. Closing seconds and that's it. Championship rounds coming up. Wait a minute. The corners entering the ring here. These two were hugging it out like it was over. And it, it, I guess it is only a, a three round fight. I thought this one was scheduled for five rounds. My apologies, folks. Promoter Jacek Sarna in the ring to award the championship belt. So for sure, this one is history. Three rounds in this one. Championship belt in the ring. Take a look at that. The winner becomes the interim champion and will go on to fight Guilherme Cadera Martins for the TFL lightweight championship. But the judges rendering their decision. And we will make it official with Adrian Valchik momentarily. Panie panowie, mamy werdykt. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee score. Filip Niemkowicz, 29-28. Michał Łempicki, 29-28. Aleksandra Rola, 29-28. By the unanimous decision, the winner is Hubert Szymaida. A to oznacza, że Hubert Szymański...
Huber Shemaida has finally fulfilled his destiny as the TFL Interim Lightweight Champion. It's been a long and rocky road for the monkey, but he finally gets the job done and has the gold strapped around his waist. Skoro Thunder Strike to musiały być grzmoty, dzisiaj ich nie brakowało w klatce. Well, a very disappointed look on the face of Robert Maciejowski. It was a hard-fought battle. One of the best title fights we've seen here at TFL, and Huber Shemaida gets the job done at TFL 15. Let's see what the champ has to say. I'm waiting for you. I'm here in Lublin. I'm waiting to see you in the cage against me. See you. A więc Kadena musi być przygotowany na to, że Hubert Szymajda, małpa, no nie odpuści. Jeszcze słowo pewnie do kibiców, co? Jesteś wycieńczony, nie chce cię męczyć dłużej. Dziękuję, to dzięki wam wytrzymałem tą ostatnią trzecią rundę. Pomimo lania, jakie mi sprawił Robert, wielki szacunek dla niego, on naprawdę jest wielkim wojownikiem. Brawa dla Roberta. Dzięki serdeczne. Robert jeszcze będzie też... A battered, bruised and exhausted Huber Shemaida. Victorious here tonight. Giving props to his fans, his trainers and his opponent. We have a new TFL Interim Lightweight Champion of the World. What an incredible contest, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, my name is Daniel Austin for TFL Thunder Strike Fight League MMA. We'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Until then, good night from Lublin, Poland.